Time now for Eyewitness News. Call 12 for action. It's being called one of the largest charity fraud cases in history. Disturbing allegations surrounding a handful of cancer-related charities. Now the FTC says millions of dollars donated never made it to the patients. Tonight, consumer reporter Susan Hogan has the developing details into this major crackdown. Well, this afternoon, the Rhode Island Attorney General's Office, along with the AGs in every state nationwide, filed a federal lawsuit against four cancer charities and their operators. According to the lawsuit, the charities scammed more than $187 million from consumers throughout the country. The Federal Trade Commission says a group of cancer-related charities swindled millions of people out of millions of dollars. Prospective donors were told that their contributions would directly help cancer patients, including children with cancer and women suffering from breast cancer. From 2008 to 2012, the Cancer Fund of America, Cancer Support Services, Children's Cancer Fund of America, and the Breast Cancer Society collected $187 million, with less than 3% going to patients. The groups used aggressive fundraising tactics, including telemarketers. You have a new children with their hospital support medical the medication, okay? Those were outright lies. The FTC says the money raised was spent on cars, cruises, vacations, even dating site memberships. Now the government is shutting down two of the charities and their leaders. Three of them are being banned from ever fundraising again. Many consumers will be surprised to find out that most of the people in, the, in this situation here aren't going to do any jail time. The Better Business Bureau warns of charity schemes every year and says before you donate, do your research. We have 20 standards of charitable accountability in which we will break down um, how much of your dollar goes to the programs and services versus um, the heads as they talk about in this case, uh, millions of dollars going to salaries. Now, the Breast Cancer Society agreed to shut down its practice, but in a statement on its website said it will continue some programming under a different organization. Now, for more information on charities, you can go to our website right now at WPRI.com. And if you have a consumer problem you need help solving, contact our Call 12 for Action Center Monday through Thursday from 11 until 1, hotline 228-1850. Or if you're interested in becoming a Call 12 for Action volunteer with me, you can call that same number you see right there on your screen. I'm consumer reporter Susan Hogan, Eyewitness News.